Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have learned how to filter emails from the Outlook by using JET queries. That is nothing but joint engine technology queries. These are all the queries which we have seen in the previous session. Along with that, we have seen what are the issues like, you know, we can't compare, we can't filter with the like conditions and after that some of the issues with the two and there's a lot of things which we have seen in the JET queries by using JET queries while we are going to filtering the Outlook mails. Now, in this session, we are going to learn the same filters by using DASL queries. DASL stands for Distributed Application Specification Long Wave. This is the long wave developed by the Sun Microsystems. Okay. Now, let me explain you about these queries. If you see over here, these are all the DASL queries that is nothing but distributed application specification long ways queries. If you see it is starts with at the rate of SQL equal to URN schemas HTML and this is the major part. If you see over here, I'm going to filter with the display name from right. We have seen already. Then in that case, you are going to use from name like you are going to use it. Nothing but if you don't remember the display name exactly, then you are going to use like operator. Okay. And then you are going to be using percentage over here. If you are having any kind of, you know, character before this learning and after this learning, you are going to use this characters percentage. Okay. And then you are going to use this query in the filter. Now, if you want, if you, if you know the exact email ID, right? Then in that case, from email equal to basha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com. Now, except this email, whatever you are received from the this email, if you don't want to fetch that emails, then you are going to use from email is not equal to basha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com. What will happen in that case? If you have 10 emails, out of 10 emails, if you're having basha.amir for three mails, it won't retrieve these emails which which has been sent by the particular sender and it will retrieve the remaining emails over here. And if you see, I'm going to use equal to operator, not equal to and the like operators. And if you want to fetch it up, like with the display to, to whom you have to send the mails, like basha.amir86, if you have sent a mail, then in that case, you're going to fetch these details from this query that is display to like or I will just give equal to you know and I will get the details over here if you want subject you will pass it as subject and if you have any attachments in that case I will use has attachment equal to true and also we'll see the logical operator and the date time also if you see the date time over here I'm having date received these are all the things I will explain you over here and also I will provide these queries in my description also. Okay, so that what will happen, all the related information to the Outlook, however you want to filter it out, you can go ahead and you can filter by using DASL queries. Now, first of all, I will copy this one. I'm going to copy this queries because of, you know, if you see the length of the characters is very huge and it will take time to type the type over there in the filter. But I will explain you each and everything, okay? Now, I'm going to UiPath Studio to the get Outlook mail message sequence. And after that, if you see, I'm having get Outlook mail message over here. Let me go to filter over here because of we are going to work with the filters. Let me expand this expression editor. Now, I'm going to paste it over here, the entire uh, filter condition over here. If you see, what I'm going to say from name like learning technologies. Whatever you are having, you want to fetch it out and filter it out, and then you want to display all these things, right? That is from name. I'm not using any email IDs over here. Just observe that. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Bot execution started. And you can see the mail count is six. Now let me go to let me click on OK so that we will see what are the details that we got it. OK, let me click on OK. Now you can see what I'm going to do. I'm using filter from name, right? You can see learning technologies. You are having 
from name, right? You will find it over here, learning technologies. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can see all these things with the display name, all the mails have been received by using get outlook mail message by using DSL queries. Now I'm going to let assume I'm going for the another condition with the from name equal to from email that I want to fetch it out. Exact email that what I'm going to. Now let me go ahead, let me copy that. Even I can use like condition over here if you don't remember, like you know, if you don't remember the entire email ID, you can use the like condition how we have shown over here. But right now I'm going to use equal to operate equal to. Now let me go over here, let me paste it. This is about the from email. Nothing but if you have any email that you got it from basha.amir86, then you are going to use it. Then you are going to filter them. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me click on okay. Now let me run the bot. Now if you see the mail count is four, previously it is having six or seven, right? And then if you see now with the basha.amir86 exact from the using equal to operator, from email I'm having four. Now let me go ahead, let me click on okay. Now you can see basha.amir86, one, two, three, and four. This is by using from email, okay? Now if I want to use not equal to, then I'm going to use this operator over here and I'm going to change the filter. And then I'm going to click on okay. Now what uh, it has to get it, once the bot has run, we want to get it out except basha.amir86 who has sent it, the remaining mails we have to receive. Now let me go ahead, let me check it out that. Now if you see, I'm having mail count is six. I'm going to click on okay. Now you can see learning technologies 2023 of gmail.com. It is not basha.amir, right? Two, and you can see Pyris Universe. Uh, 70 some emails that I got it and you can see all the mails except basha.amir86 or date of gmail.com correct this is how you are going to use from name as well as from email now I want to check it out display cc because of I in my mails I don't have any display cc now what I'm going to do I'm going to use display 2 over here okay what is display 2 it is nothing but in your uh, search mails, like you know, to whom you have sent it, in that case, if you are having learning technologies like that, you are going to fetch it out. Now, let me go ahead, let me copy that. Now, in my inbox, I'm having, you, you can see over here, myself, I have sent some of the mails to myself, so that I have to receive some mails over here. Now, let me go ahead, let me uh, paste that query, and then I'm going to click on OK. Before going to run this bot, let me make some more changes over here because of we have used display too, right? Now I want to get the details over here, right? So that what I will do, email dot two dot two sing, I'm going to display, right? Unfortunately, what will happen? All the mails have been received to learning technologies 2020, right? So that all the mails in the inbox will be related to that only. Now, let me run the bot and you can see Mail count is 10, all the mails which are having 10 mails at the time have, all the mails are related to the same thing. If you see learning technologies, learning technologies, all the things, because two is nothing but which I have received, right? This is my email that which I have. That's why it is showing all the emails. Okay. In the same format, if you want to use uh, basha.amir86 or that of gmail.com, you can use in the sent mails, right? N now let me copy this. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use get outlook filter and then I'm going to paste it over here. But here I have sent some mails to, right? Now in the inbox, what I will do, I will make it as sent items. And then I'm going to show it over here as from. Now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. In the, uh, you know, sent mails, I don't have anything hope so with, the, with this name, okay? that is display two equal to basha.amir86 so that you know it is giving zero mails. Okay, now we'll see about this subject. Now if you see the subject over here, I'm having some mails, you can see over here, PDF, right? 
So I'm having the subject, I'm having PDF. How can I go ahead and fetch it out? Now let's go to the filter once again. And then I'm going to use the same filter option over here. Before going to run the bot, let me check the uh, change the mail folder because of we are having in the inbox, right? Now let me go ahead, let me do that. And now let me run the bot. Now you can see the mail count is one. We are having one mail related to the PDF. Yeah, and you can see that is from, uh, that is basha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com, okay? And in the same way, you can use attachments as well as logical operator, as well as date and time. So this is just replica, just I have used, you know, over here for the queries, which you can make a practice over there, so that if you have any queries, you can ask me on these queries. These queries will be posted in the description. Don't forget that. Okay, to copy and to work on that one. I hope you understand how to use DASL queries in the filter to retrieve the emails from the Outlook, right? Now, I will, we may have some doubt, right? This entire UA path is not required any kind of coding. Sometimes, obviously, we have to use some of the codings over here. You can see one is JET queries, another one DSL queries. Is there any other way without using these kind of languages? Yes, there it is. Now, what I'm going to do, I have cleared this filter. Now, there is one of the advanced searches there. Okay, I will explain you about this for five minutes so that later on, you know, we'll go to another topic. Now, if you see over here, in the email, that what are the properties that we have? If you see over here, let me delete this and you can see a lot of properties, right? Email dot, you can see alternative views, attachments, BCC, body, body encoding, CC, BCC, all these things which are related to the same thing, right? Now, we are going to use the same thing, right, to filter it out. Why can't I use if statement which are containing over there, right? I will use some statements and then I will filter my after receiving this get outlook while I'm going to loop it and I will filter all the related information. Now what I will do, let me go to activities. I will use if condition or if statement. Let me drag and drop this if statement onto the body. And now what I'm going to do, email dot from dot this is advanced search that I'm going to use. If you don't remember any kind of queries, no worries. Now, if you see what I'm doing, email dot from dot to string dot contains. What it contains, if it is contains any email ID that is from bashar dot amir86 at the rate of gmail dot com, then I'm going to say uh, just message box as subject. Now I will make it as subject over here. Else, I'm just, I'm not going to display anything over here in the else spot. This is one kind of option that we have to filter it out this email. Okay, now let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now, if you observe from the get outlook mail message, it is fetching all the mails, right? We don't, we have not used any kind of filter. Now, that's the reason the mails count is 10. Now, when I click on OK, now if you see, it will go through this condition right and you can see it has gone through and the subject is pdf automation we are having four mails over there so that it will come four different upload interview dot net interview questions some kind of document day one introduction to your path these are all the things which we had the emails after using this if condition this is how we'll go in advance and then you know we'll filter the uh, you know, any kind of property like email dot from email dot to email dot sys and all these things. Okay, even email dot subject also. I hope in this session you understand how to use DSL queries as well as, you know, this advanced research by using uh, contains the property that we are going to use it to filter out our mails. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.